All right, let's do it. Good afternoon, everyone. How are we doing today? I'm well. Doing okay. All right. Brianna? I'm okay. All right, great. Okay, so why don't we um, kind of jump in and talk about some of the concerns that are going on right now. I, you know, realize that this is a session with, you know, Brad and Sophie, and then um, Brianna as, you know, the, the child as well. So um, let's kind of dig into why we're here. Well, I gotta think... argue all the time. Oh. Okay. Arguing all the time. Like obviously parents. What are what are your thoughts um regarding that, Sophie? Well, I could see uh Brianna thinking that. Um we do have communication issues. I I wouldn't call it necessarily arguing. Um, her and our dad disagree on some things sometimes. Um, she may hear it, but I do have to work a lot and, it, and my job does take me out of the house a lot. So that's what her and our dad, her, me and her dad argue about a lot, me having to be away. Okay, all right. Brad, do you have a response to that? I mean... I see it as arguing. <laughs> I don't know. There's just disagreements. Like it's been going on for a while now. Um, ever since Sophie took a job a while back that requires her to be gone a lot. Um, yeah, I feel like we. It's even harder to talk about things when she's not here. So, I'm feeling really frustrated about everything that's happened to Brianna. I feel frustrated about her being gone and what that means for our family. And yeah, we don't get along about it. Like it's, it's very hard. I hate that Brianna has to know about all that, but that's where we're at. And I'm, I guess it's good we're here to talk about it. Okay, well, thank you both for sharing. Um, it does seem that we have, you know, some separate perspectives on this issue and um would you both agree that there's a sense of a power struggle and how this argument or arguing is coming along um and how it impacts you know the family overall uh in my opinion i feel that brad thinks that i just jumped up and took a job one day we actually talked about it in great detail. Um, yes, this happened to our daughter. And yes, I would like to be home, but it just does not permit me to do that. So that's why I think it's unfair sometimes how he comes at me. Okay. Right. Well, I think that's part of the problem is that she, career comes first, right? The money comes first that's the most important thing is like whether it's working for everybody or not being gone doing this job is more important than other things and like I get it I have a career too that I care about I don't want to leave my job and like right like I'm still working um but I think it's putting an unreasonable amount of pressure on everyone but that seems to be completely dismissed and so that's where I, that's where I think a lot of our stuff is coming from, where it's like, hey, these are the, this is what's going on. This is what we need. We may need to change things. And it's like, no, <laughs> we got to keep doing it this way because careers is important. Okay. okay. Something that, you know, I'm noticing right away is we're, we're a family unit, right? So we have, you know, your point of view as parents. And then I also want to be respectful of Brianna's point of view in all of this. I know her um, initial 
you know, thoughts were that you both fight a lot. And, you know, I'm curious to, to hear more about how Brianna feels about this dynamic. So would you mind kind of giving, you know, any insight you want to include um, just in the conversation, but I really want you to be included in all of this as well. Uh, well, it's nice that dad is around all the time. Um, that sometimes feels normal, but mom has gone a lot and it has changed um, a lot of stuff. And I, I miss the way things used to be. And I, I just want it to go back. Okay. When you, when you mention that it's changed a lot of stuff, you mentioned, you know, wanting her around more. What other kinds of things has it changed? Well, we used to go out sometimes on the weekends with like everyone. Um, and we did more stuff around the house, but now everything is a lot more quiet and when I mentioned that I was kind of lonely, we got a cat, which has been really nice. Um, and I, I don't know, I just feel like it would be better if everyone wasn't so angry all the time and I wasn't carrying around so much because it feels like it's causing fights and I, I don't wanna cause fights. Okay. All right. Well, I, I completely, you know, can understand how that would bring on some complicated emotions, you know, for some very adult instances, you know, with fighting. So I just, you know, want to, want to say that, you know, I think that you're brave um, for speaking up. So thank you for that. Um, you know, my next question would be, um, when the fighting, you know, is occurring, is this something that just began recently? Did something, um, you know, provide onset to more fighting? Why are we where we are today? I mean, the fighting has been going on since Sophie took the job. So that happened a while ago. And yes, we did talk about it, but then when the reality of being gone all the time happened, that's when the fighting really started. Um, it just changes a lot. I definitely feel like she should be home. I feel like my family agrees with that. Like That should be what's happening, and it's not. <laughs> and so a lot of the responsibilities that I've taken on feel like they're not really right for me to be doing. Um and then, not necessarily because she was gone, but a babysitter took advantage of our daughter because <laughs> she did. And now we're um, dealing with that. And I think that has definitely escalated things. It has made things significantly more challenging for us. I think it's obviously been extremely hard on Brianna. And she's having a lot more difficulties communicating and we are and so I think it's just kind of those things have snowballed if that makes sense yes okay and Sophie what do you do you have anything to add to that um you know about a babysitter being added into the equation and obviously this is you know very difficult you know this conversation is very difficult for Brianna and, you know, I'm just curious what your input is on all this. Well, I, it is unfortunate that that happened to Brianna, but I feel that Brad blames me for it. <clears throat> and in some ways, Brianna blames me for it. Um, even though we all chose the babysitter together because I'm not able to be at home we had to even have a babysitter. Okay. 
And I feel that Brad doesn't see me trying to do what I can to not be gone so much. Okay. I'm devastated that this happened. Have you told Brianna that? Or have you both spoke about this instance, you know, with your absence from working so much? Not specifically. Okay. Okay. And Brianna, um, I know this is a very, you know, sensitive subject and I want to do, you know, whatever I can not to, you know, bring up adverse symptoms, you know, of that sort. Um, but also, you know, I want you to be able to, you know, speak to what you're comfortable with. Is there something that you would want to add in giving your mom, you know, or dad, um, your perspective of how you're feeling about this event? Well, I guess I just don't know why we talk about it because, um, I think about it a lot, but when I do want to talk about it, it seems like there's not, like, it's not what we're supposed to be talking about. And then inevitably, I don't know, like when we do, it's like the next day mom is gone. And I, I don't want to talk about it if it's making her leave. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, Brianna, I want to be, you know, one of the, the first to, you know, or, you know, whoever you've spoken to, but I just want to say, I'm sorry that that happened to you. Thanks. Okay. And Sophie, what, it, what is your reaction to um, Brianna and how she feels that when this subject is brought up, that it's, it almost, you know, comes at a time where you're either, you know, not, not intentionally leaving purposefully, but it's kind of when you're headed out the door is the, you know, her perception. What are your thoughts around that? I feel terrible about it. I want her to be able to come to me and talk to me about whatever she's feeling or whatever she's thinking. I mean, had I known, I probably wouldn't have went on that trip. But I guess that's on me for not communicating more with her. And I am sorry that that happened to you, Brianna. And I am here for you if you want to talk. It's good to know. I thought I was doing the right thing by giving her space, but I'm seeing now that it was the wrong thing. Okay. Right. And, you know, in some, some instances, you know, you, you can definitely um, get a certain vibe from, you know, when you're in conversation and when you're talking about really hard things. Um, and, you know, it seems that the, just kind of the power struggle between you both, you know, with you being the bread breadwinner by being away, you know, that takes sacrifice. Um, and, you know, it's, it's important to be able to come to a consensus as a family as, you know, trying to get to a place to where you're not necessarily blaming one another of how this incident occurred, but coming to a place where you can communicate better as a family. And, you know, that is easier said than done, you know, in these instances and does take practice. Um, Brad, you know, I sense a lot of, um, depending on, you know, the conversation, just some anger or something along that sense. Am I sensing that right? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm pretty angry. Okay. Can you maybe express, you know, to Sophie, you know, why you have those feelings. I mean, Sophie, I feel angry because I, I feel pretty dismissed 
by you and I feel like our daughter needs you right now and I've needed you in the house for a while and you're not there so yeah it makes me feel pretty mad okay is that tough to hear Sophie it's tough to hear and I want you to know, Brad, that I'm doing everything that I can to be home. I'm not dismissing you. I'm not uh, taking our disagreements with a grain of salt. Like I'm actually figuring, trying to figure out ways to be at home. Okay. All right. So, you know, I'm I'm eager to figure out you know, a place where you all can come together, you know, as a family um, to a place of better communication and above all, you know, putting Brianna's needs above, you know, arguments at this time. Um, and I just, you know, want to figure out, you know, what sacrifices we can do, you know, as, as parents, um, to include, you know, her voice, because ultimately this is about, you know, her and just her happiness. And it's about your happiness as well, but we, we do want to include, you know, her, her feelings and, and validate what she's been through. Right. Um, is that something that, you think we can can work on how how would that make you feel brianna if your parents focused you know a little bit less on arguing and more about you know some of the things that you've been through in the sense of being a great support system better i guess um i don't know this seems like um Since everything happened, everything has changed, and I have to talk to a lot more people about a lot of things that I don't really want to, but I would feel better if I could talk to you guys about it instead of a bunch of strangers. Okay. Would you say both your parents equally or more mom, more dad? Well, I don't want to cause a fight, but I feel more comfortable talking to dad because sometimes he comes in and he visits and he checks in. Um, and we play with the cat together. But um, even before it happened, um, while it was, mom was so hard to get some time with. So when you have time, maybe we could talk about it. Okay. Sophie, how would you respond to what Brianna just said? I can see where I had some, some gaps in communicating with you, Brianna. If I reflect back on, on our home life, I can see where I put work first. And that was not fair to you or your father. Thanks, I guess. Yes, thank you. Thank you for your vulnerability in that and everyone's vulnerability. I mean, this is definitely not an easy subject. Um, you know, I want to get to a point where we can continue to work on this um, again as a family dynamic to really explore, you know, what changes could possibly occur. Um, to make this more cohesive and overall, you know, just to provide the support that Brianna needs and including her, you know, in conversations, um, obviously not intense adult conversations, but, you know, just to show her that she has meaning in this family. Um, so I would like, you know, to say that if you all, 
would be agreeable to kind of working on having a conversation, you know, together as a family and figuring out, you know, some potential, you know, modifications or changes that can, you know, help some things. Cause it, you know, it's apparent that there's some struggle going on. Um, what, what are your thoughts? Whoever wants to, to chime in. I'm open to that. I, I mm -hmm. want that. I want communication with the both of them. Okay. Brad? I agree. Yeah. I think uh, doing something different will be helpful. And I mean, I guess it, some guidance on maybe ways to do that at home, right? It's easier, <laughs> I guess, when you have somebody like asking questions versus trying to do that at home without you there. So absolutely um, that could be um, helpful absolutely and i think you know starting off small something to the effect of more i statements um could be a small you know modification in how you communicate and even you know in brianna you know you can give you know some some small you know contribution in that way whatever you're comfortable with um but I think it could be helpful. Does that sound okay to everyone? Sure. Okay. Well, I, I appreciate you, you know, joining me and, you know, being vulnerable and, you know, we'll definitely dive more into all of this at our next session. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. Thank okay. you. All right.